Hello everyone. Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. Today's video is about solving another exponential equation. 16 raised to the cube root of x minus 255 times 4 raised to the cube root of x equals 256. And we're going to find the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. All right. So let's start solving the equation. We have to write down the equation again. So I have just written the equation. Now our first focus is on the first term. 16 can be written the same way as 4 squared. That is 4 squared raised to the cube root of x minus 255 times 4 raised to the cube root of x 256. And the first term can be written the same way as 4 raised to the cube root of x squared minus 255 times 4 raised to the cube root of x equals 256. Transposing the constant, the right side of the equation, to the left side, that is become now 4 raised to the cube root of x squared minus 255 times 4 raised to the cube root of x minus 256 is 0. Now the whole equation is transformed to quadratic equation since the, uh, the first term has its exponent 2. That means it's a quadratic equation. Now we have to substitute the, uh, another variable for the value of the first term that is 4 raised to the cube root of x and let that uh, let y be 4 raised to the cube root of x so from here substitute the value for that one right there that becomes now y squared minus 255 times y minus 256 equals 0 this is simply written as y squared minus 255y minus 256 is 0. From here, we are tweaking the value of the middle term, 255y, and this 255y can be expressed as plus y minus 256y. Since the sign of the middle term is negative, that means the bigger value takes the negative sign and the smaller value takes the positive sign. And if you add this up, that will turn out to be 255. So that is 256 minus 1. That is 255. And now let's substitute that to the middle term. So that the y squared plus y minus 256y minus 256 equals 0. Now if you notice the terms right here, common here is y, and the terms over here, common is 256. So we're using the factoring by grouping. So this equation can be factored out like this. So you're factoring out y. That becomes y times the quantity, y plus 1 minus factoring out 256, that is 256 times the quantity y plus 1. Since you're factoring out 256 and this is negative, negative times negative becomes positive. That's plus 1 equals 0. Simplifying the equation further, this is now y minus 256 parenthesis times y plus 1 equals 0. Now we have two binomial factors. We're equating now its binomial zero all right so this is now y minus 256 zero and the right side is now y plus one equals zero and from here simplifying this equation y is equal to 256 the other side y equals negative one all right so if we focus our attention on here, since y is just a substitute, substituted vari variable in place of uh, 
4 raised to the cube root of x. So we have now y is from earlier is 4 raised to the cube root of x. If we substitute the value, negative value over here, this is now becomes negative 1. 4 raised to the cube root of x is negative 1. And if you notice, this value, 4 raised to the cube root of x, is a positive, it's a positive value. So negative 1, we cannot use that one. So this is a false statement. So we're crossing out value of y negative 1. So we're using this one instead. y is equal to 256. So we're using that. So the 4 raised to the cube root of x is now 256. And we focus our attention on the right side of the equation. This constant 256 will also be written as 4 raised to the 4th power. So we should shoot this value to here. So this is now 4 raised to the cube root of x is equals 4 raised to the 4th power. And we have here the same base. We're using our rule that is a raised to b equals a raised to c. b equals to c. Since you have the same base, so we're equating the exponent. All right, so this becomes the cube root of x is now equal to 4. And from here, to get rid of that cube root, we have to multiply the exponent with the, the reciprocal of that cube root. To get rid of the cube root, since uh, the cube root is represented as exponent 1 third. So to get rid of that uh, exponent 1 third is get raising to a power that is the reciprocal of one third and the reciprocal of one third is three there will be this popular uh, power rule again that is a raised to m raised to n is equal to a raised to m times n so we're using that to this so this now cube root of x is now transformed to to x raised to the one third equals 4 and to get rid of that one third exponent we're multiplying the exponent by the reciprocal of one third and that is 3 so let's do that on both sides of the equation so raising to the third power so the same both sides so this is now x is equals to 4 raised to the third power and this is because we are multiplying the, the exponent now. One third times three, this cancels out. And that's the exponent one. So we have arrived at this. This is equals four thirds. And x is equal to 64. Since four raised to the third power, four times four, 16 times four is 64. So that's the final answer. x is equal to 64. And if we were to check our answer, we have to substitute the value of x or the cube root of x to the original equation. So to check our answers, I have written the original equation right here. And the value of the, the cube root of x is 4 or x is equal to 64. So we'll be using this uh, the cube root of x equals 4 on here. Substituting that value right here now. That is now become 16 raised to 4th power. And it's 255 times 4 raised to the 4th power equals 256. And from here, the values of the equivalent value of 16 raised to the 4th power, that could be written the same way as 16 raised to the 4th power is equal to 4 squared raised to the 4th power. And once again, this is equal to 4 raised to 8. Okay, so we'll be using that one right there. And uh, 256 is, this could be written the same way as 4 raised to the 4th power. So we're substituting those equivalent values. 16 raised to the 4th power is 4 raised to 8. Minus 255 times 4 raised to the 4th power equals 256 is 4 raised to the 4th power. And from here, we can factor out 
4 raised to the 4th power that becomes first term will be 4 raised to the 4th power minus 256 I mean 255 I should say equals 4 raised to the 4th power so from here now we're substituting the value of 4 raised to the 4th power by 256 so that is now 4 raised to the 4th power times the quantity 256 minus 255 equals 4 raised to the 4th power and from here 4 raised to the 4th power and 256 minus, 2 minus 255 that is 1 so equals 4 raised to the 4th power so therefore 4 raised to the 4th power times 1 is 4 raised to the 4th power equals 4 raised to the 4th power this just confirmed that the, the value of x is 64 for the cube root of x is 4. And so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day everyone. Bye.